Hey everybody, this is Ben Schwartz. Today is March 12th, 2020, and the world seems to be completely freaking out. Everybody's got this intense fear going on about the coronavirus. I am not here to give a lecture about whether or not it's a threat to anybody, but what I do want to really impart to you is the importance of managing fear and stress around this for many reasons. Number one, anytime we're under stress, which is emotional stress, right? Any kind of stress. Emotions are the biggest reason for our stress on the body. It impacts our immune system. So we all want to be healthy. We want to take care of ourselves. We want to use good hygiene and eat well and exercise and get fresh air and sunshine, all the good things that we normally would want to do. But what's most neglected for everybody pretty much, and even in what's talked about among medical professionals, we neglect the emotional side of our health. Your mindset, your mood, the way that you handle stress is so important to your overall health and your resilience and your immune system. So I'm here to work with you on that. We're going to do a little bit of tapping and uh, tapping for those of you who aren't familiar, it's a mind body technique, EFT. We tap on meridian points while focusing on some thought or feeling or combination of thought and feeling that is creating a negative experience, negative emotion. So we have plenty of opportunity here to do some tapping and you can just tap along with me. The idea of tapping is to not shy away from expressing the fear or the emotion, but rather to do the opposite, meaning to really name it, really call it out, speak it out while tapping, because it's by provoking that and being very present with the feeling in the moment while tapping that relaxes your nervous system and restores a state of calm to your mind and your body. And in doing that, the obsessive thought or fear begins to diminish and puts us back in control of ourselves, gets us more centered again in a place where you can feel empowered, clear-headed, you can think straight, you can get done what you need to get done, take care of yourself and your family, and there's no need for anybody to be in a state of panic. Okay? So we can come at this in many different ways, but I'm going to keep it simple at first, and then I'll probably make a couple more videos, and we can go into different aspects of all the fears that seem to be coming up around this global uh, phenomena that's happening. Because I know it brings up all kinds of fears. Fears about money, fears about safety, about health, about the world falling apart, about not having enough toilet paper. <laughs> Whatever your fear is, we can tap about it and we can get ourselves back in control, feeling sane again, okay? So just tapping the side of the hand is where we begin. And first, before we get into doing that, just identify for yourself what you're feeling as you think about the coronavirus. Even that word has become such a such a trigger word, hasn't it? It's everywhere. Can't look at your phone, can't turn on the TV without hearing the word coronavirus. So we're going to use that word at first while we're tapping and we're just going to repeat that word as part of this routine so that it can lessen its impact on our, our well-being when we hear it. Okay. Um, we'll start there. So just tapping the side of the hand. You can do this along with me. You can say these words out loud, that would be preferable, or say them in your mind as you're tapping along. That's fine too. Just feel that feeling, whatever comes up for you as you think about coronavirus. Notice if you feel some stress in your body, some tension somewhere, some buzz of emotion, energy somewhere in the head, the chest, the belly, shoulders, wherever you feel that stress. Notice how strong you feel that. Repeat these words. Even though I feel this fear in my body, 
as I look at the news and hear about the coronavirus, and it feels like it's the apocalypse, like everything's falling apart, like we're all in life-threatening danger. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this fear in my chest, when I hear the words coronavirus, and everybody's freaking out about it. I feel like I'm not safe leaving my house. I deeply and completely accept myself in this moment, no matter what I feel. I'm tapping the top of the head, two fingers right at the crown. Fear of coronavirus, beginning of the eyebrow. Thinking about the coronavirus, corner of the eye. I feel this fear in my chest. I feel this fear in my shoulders, like I'm bracing myself for the end of the world. I've got this fear of the coronavirus. Feels like a deadly epidemic that's gonna come and get me under the arm. I don't feel safe. I feel this stress in my chest. Let's continue on another round, top of the head. Sounds like people are dropping dead all around me. I'm afraid I'm in serious danger. I can't stop watching the news. All this news about the deadly coronavirus. I feel this fear in my chest. Tens of thousands die every year from the flu, but nobody's talking about that. This feels more dangerous. I feel vulnerable. Let's do one more round. I feel the stress of all this. I feel like my life is upside down. I choose to just focus on this moment. I'm okay in this moment. I can trust myself and my body. I choose to have a strong, healthy immune system. I can use common sense and take care of myself. I can take care of myself and my family, and I'm safe in this moment. Take a deep breath. Let it go. Now, I realize that some of the words I used were pretty provocative. Those words are already in your mind, and they're on the news every time you look at it anyway. The purpose in saying it is because we want to bring it up. It's already what's happening inside of our mind, and we tap it through while we're doing that. I don't expect that a couple rounds of tapping is gonna fix everything and make you feel wonderful. It might. So if you feel some relief already, that's great. Most people will feel some decrease of stress and tension and anxiety just by doing a little bit. But we can do more, okay? That was only a couple of minutes. You could spend five minutes doing this, 10 minutes, do it once a day, twice a day, whenever you feel scared. It's well worth the time because managing that level of tension and stress and anxiety in yourself, in your mind, in your body will benefit you so much, I guarantee you. And there are many different ways we can tap about this. I'm gonna make another video shortly where we'll just keep on tapping about different aspects of this stress. And I really want you to feel empowered that you have the tools right at your fingertips to release stress anytime. The calmer and more grounded you are, the better equipped you are to handle whatever comes at you. 
the better it is for your immune system, the better it is for clarity of mind, and you don't need to live in this kind of fear. Fear is the biggest epidemic of all, and that has always been the case. No matter what's going on on this planet, fear is always the thing that is most harmful to us. I leave you with that. Thank you for watching. Blessings to everybody, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.